We're just selfless, uh, you know. Um, we're thinking great shot every time down. What a statement win for the Boston Celtics as they finish with a 125 to 97 victory over the Utah Jazz. The Celtics came out with high energy, not looking like a team that had just gotten back from a four game road trip and they were up 23 at the half. In the second, the Seas continued to dominate as they were sharp on defense and were moving the ball very well as they finished with a season high 37 assists. We're just selfless, uh, you know. Um, we're thinking great shot every time down. And that's sometimes you have to sacrifice a good one to get that. And, and you might be the one that's sacrificing. So that's just our mentality on the offensive end. You know, all of this was uh, prime, very, very prime for us. We just had to, like I said, put four stretches together and, and stuff like that. I, I knew the energy was about to shift. So I'm happy that we're, we're here now, but it's crazy to even, you know, to know that we're a game and a half. As many games as we blew, <laughs> in the first half of the season. It would have been nice to have won some of those games because maybe we would be in first right now, but everything happens for a reason. So, you know, we take it one game at a time. You know, guys are confident, uh, playing free, playing together. That's a, the most clear thing you can see is obviously the ball movement, the crispness on offense, and uh, taking advantage of opportunities. Uh, I feel we are very balanced in isolation, off ball, pick and roll, post up. We have a lot of versatility as far as that offensively. Now, as far as the Celtics continuing this run, Marcus Smart said post game that it's important for this group not to get complacent. He said it's important that they watch film and look at things that they've done well and also look at areas where they can improve and then they need to go out and execute. Closing out for Celtics.com, I'm Amanda Flugrad.